Tally ho, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. My name is Richard. Welcome to Drop Bear Moto. Doff of the cap to you on this fine morning. Today, distinguished gentlemen's ride. Um, for those that don't know, this was a ride that actually started in Australia well, quite a few years back now. It's been running for some time. It runs jointly with Movember, uh, raises money for prostate cancer awareness, um, or, well, and research and, and all the things that go along with that for men and also for uh, men's mental health issues. So great cause. Um, what I've decided to do today is join the Daytona crew. So the actual ride's probably about 26 miles. I think we're doing the loop in Daytona, which is really scenic. Um, and, and it'll be probably just under an hour to do that loop. Uh, we'll meet at one of the dealerships beforehand and we'll come back to one of the breweries in the area. So it should be a good day. Because I like to ride an extra challenge, I set myself, um, I'm probably 100 and, no, 110 miles plus to get to the dealership and back um, and going to do it all on my trusty Triumph. So this will be the furthest I've ridden the Triumph in one day. I um, have done a couple of hundred mile rides or plus, but it's certainly be the furthest in one day. Um, and to make matters worse, it's raining at the moment uh, very lightly. So not sure I'll ride up with my jacket. I might wuss out of that one, um, try and keep it dry. Otherwise I'll be absolutely drenched after, it's gonna take me about two hours to go the back roads because they're more scenic. Um, so probably two hours up, two hours back on the little Triumph. Um, and I removed the fenders or the back fender from this bike because it looks cooler. Um, I never intended to ride it in the rain or this far, it's sort of a round town bike. Go and drop another video with a bit more details about this bike. But um, yeah, so it's gonna be an interesting day, a little bit of a challenge to shake things up and make it fun. Um, which I think we've got over 50 riders in today's ride, so good show out. We'll, we'll report more from up there when we get there. Um, and I've managed to raise about $464 so far. So I'll try and drop the GoFundMe, or the, sorry, the, the link for donations in this video. If you are watching, didn't get a chance to donate yet. Um, we'll keep that open, obviously. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a great cause. It's gonna be a fun day. Wish it wasn't raining, but you get that when you're out on bikes. You will get wet one day. Um, so I'll get some footage hopefully going up there and we'll get some footage on the ride. Come along with me. Setup point, which is Daytona Beach Motors, uh, the Triumph dealer here. Um, good ride up, didn't get a lot of footage. We had a little, little bit of rain, but nothing too bad. It managed to dry out again on the way through. Um, so that was good. Um, you, you got, it's got some high speeds though, so uh, <laughs> had to just uh, readdress myself as we got up, but uh, lost nothing, so that was all good. But uh, yeah, we, there's a couple of 65 limits on the way up the uh, US one, even though it's a uh, the back road, so to speak. Um, but no, it was good, good run up. A um, couple of drops, nothing too spectacular. So bike did well, back's a little sore, bum's a little sore, but you get that on a smaller bike. So have a look around here. <laughs>
around the world. And we get to be part of that here locally. Thanks all of you. Daytona Beach. DGR 2024 uh, ride done. We're at Ormond Beach Brewing now, so uh, go and uh, go and quench the thirst. It's uh, over 80 degrees. It's been on the ride, so hence my uh, my cravat tie is gone, and uh, this jacket will be coming off pretty soon. It's pretty warm out here, but uh, good day, good rise, good ride. Sorry, and an oh, absolutely awesome cause. So uh, glad I could be part of it and have a bit of fun while we're doing it. Ride safe. Okay, so we're uh, we're back home now. It's about 4 p.m. Um, it was an awesome day, a lot of fun. Um, you know, put a little bit of pressure on myself to get up to Daytona and back. 
Um, fortunately, no rain, so I didn't test my lack of mud guards on, on my Triumph. Um, so that was, that was kind of good. And, and I was not dressed for rain at all in a big heavy tweed jacket, so, so I'm really glad we didn't get that. Um, look, uh, at the moment I've raised 464, so a massive thank you to everyone that contributed to, to me. Um, I think Daytona had raised at least seven and a half grand, something like that, um, and um, the Daytona ride alone. Um, and we had over 60 riders registered, um, so it was, a, it was a good day. It was a lot of fun just to see everyone dressed up. So hopefully I got some good footage. You'll know by now because you'll have watched it, but um, appreciate you watching it. If you want more content like this, um, don't forget to, to like the video and subscribe. Uh, we'll, we'll show you more what's going on around the, uh, the Florida, um, Central Florida region. Um, but a great day, great event, um, really well organized. It was a really safe ride, a lot of great people there. Good to see everyone show up. So I had a ball, uh, I'll be doing it next year. I might sneak down to Miami. It's a pretty big ride down there. So it'd be cool to do a really big one, but um, we'll see how that goes. But look, again, I really want to thank everyone that sponsored me. Um, hopefully I gave a little bit back by giving you a little bit of a view of what we did today. Um, it's freaking hot, as it always is in Florida, so, so we know that. It was high 80s, um, which is, sorry, it was 80s, it was in the 80s, it was low 80s, um, and that's uh, probably high 30 degrees Celsius, um, um, if you talk that language. So it was warm to be dressed up like that, to be riding around, um, so I'm going to go and hit the showers. Um, I don't know how much the GoPro picks up, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it was pretty warm. So thanks a lot for watching. Um, great cause, great day, a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed it.